we we'll create our phone holders, we're going to use a slightly different feature for a revit. And you're going to need to just draw what the face of your phone holder is going to look like. So I'm just going to draw a rectangle. And I might make it. And for my design, I'm just going to have it as a rounded top on it. Use my trim tool to get rid of the bits I don't want. Right. This is the profile I'm going to have my, my phone holder. Let's be using an extrude tool. We're going to use a thing called sheet metal. Now, this is obviously designed for making parts out of sheet metal, but um, we're going to use it to make uh, our acrylic parts. Because we need to use a heat strip to bend it, we need a flat pattern. So what it would look like when it's flat. So first thing we're going to do is set up our sheet metal rules. And I'm going to come in and select aluminium from this list. And you're going to right click and just go new rule. And I'm going to call it acrylic. Now I've already got one, so I'm going to call it acrylic 2 in this case. And the thickness is going to be 3 millimeters. Let me hit save. And you can right click and just go set as default. Close. So now we're going to go flange. I'm going to choose this profile. Make sure the sheet metal rule acrylic too, or acrylic is selected from this list. Okay. So that creates our flat surface now. And this is just like any extruded part, you can cut extrude out of it and, and do whatever you like to it. But what we can use is flange tool again, and we're going to click on the back edge and drag out from there. Now you can choose whether the bend is on the inside or on the outside. So choose how far down it is or whether it's on the center. But, um, so inside or outside. The depth this is going to be will really depend on how tall you made your design to start with. Remember, have a look at the design brief for the maximum material size. It will depend on how much space you have left over at the end here. The angle which you want to do it, if you do it at 90 degrees, the thing will want to fall over. So you want to have maybe 20 degrees or so for the back. So 110. Okay. And again, you can cut extrude out of this. You can do whatever you like to it. We can go on fillet edges if you like. That sort of thing. So the reason why we've made it this way, using the sheet metal tools, is because we're going to need to create a flat pattern at some point. So create a flat pattern. That's going to be the stationary feature. And we'll create a pattern of what this looks like when it's laid flat. So this is a space through here that I'll have to um, bend it up. Now that I've got this, I can export as a DXF file, which we can then send to the laser cutter. Obviously, I'll need to have all my cutouts for my 3D printed parts and that sort of stuff, and whatever graphics I'm going to be putting on here, but we'll need to export this file out as a DXF eventually. If you get back to the standard view, you can finish flat pattern. And you can get back into that at any point in time, just over here on the left-hand side, where it says flat pattern. Now, obviously, once you've finished making this, the stand is sort of shown on a bit of an angle. That's not a problem. In fact, I'd recommend you leave it like that while you're working on it. At some point, you want to rotate the camera angle so that this is sort of the top so we can do that by clicking on this one here clicking on the surface and just in this drop down here i can change set current view as the top and then the camera position changes so now i look at my right hand side it's on an angle 